Hello guys, today we make carciofini sott'olio, that is a very classic Italian appetizer, that in English is artichoke preserved in oil. Because many of you uh, probably don't know the plants where the, car the artichoke grow, I am in the field to show you the plants. This is the plants, usually uh, we collect the big one first, but there are few. And after the plants make a small one that they have not the power to grow, so they remain small and we use them to put in a jar with the oil and we can eat during the winter. Uh, I will show you both how to preserve the small one and the big one. But first of all, I want to thank Lina because she gave me the artichoke to do this video. Thank you, Lina. Plus, somebody asked me, uh, please, can you pronounce your name of the channel? Because uh, it's very difficult for us to understand. So my personal name is Andrea. Nice to meet you. The name of the channel is Cuore di Cioccolato. That means uh, art of chocolate, chocolate art. Up to you how you want to put the word together. So remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave my like it, to share all this video. And now let's go inside to the kitchen to prepare our carciofini sottolio. I will do only 20 artichokes. Usually people do more, so I give you different options. All the video will be full of options. Usually the little one, the little artichoke, that is called carciofini, are only the flower without the leg. But because I'm using this one, they are very fresh. Also the leg is soft, so I will keep a small pieces of leg. If you do small quantity, like Lina suggests, thank you, Lina, you cut a lemon in pieces, and after that you clean your artichoke, you uh, brush, we can say, it's not a brush because it's a lemon, with the lemon all around, don't worry, I will show you. Why? Because if you cut the artichoke and you put apart and you wait, it will be dark like this, very ugly to see. We want nice artichoke, very white. If you make a big quantity of uh, artichoke preserved in, in the oil, you take a cup, you put a little bit of water inside, you squeeze one, two, three lemon inside, maybe you add a little bit of vinegar. After that you clean the artichoke, you throw in this water. But if you clean one by one with the lemon, they will be more white. So up to you, yeah, the time that you have. So now I will clean one small, and after I will show you how to clean the big ones. and our little artichoke is ready. I don't know if you can notice here around, it's already dark, because when I was doing the video to change the camera and so on, I was too slow to use the lemon. But when you will do it on, it will be uh, more easier because you don't need to do the video. And the artichoke will be white, like here, no black like here. Hmm. Okay, we put the lemon and we put apart. Now I will clean one of the big ones because 
we need to clean in the same way and after we need to cut, you know, they are too big. But I'll show you now. At the end, only one was big, so I cut in two pieces. Now we should boil our artichokes, no more than two, three minutes. We should boil inside what? Inside this pot, I will put 500 ml of white wine, 500 ml of uh, white vinegar, and 50 grams of sea salt. This is what I will do. Plus I will put some uh, peppercorn and one bay leaves. But you can make a variation, depend also in the country where you live. If the wine is expensive, like my father uh, do, you can put the water, so half liter of water, a half liter of vinegar. Naturally in Italy we have vinegar from the white grapes, but in other countries you have vinegar from apple, from pineapple, from rice, so up to you. The important is you have half of something acid and half of something normal. So I will put this inside, we boil a few minutes and after we should remove from the uh, liquid and put on the towel and wait that they become cold and after we will put in the jar. And our carciofini sott'olio, they are ready. Our artichokes in the oil are ready. So now a big discussion. Which oil we should use? Seed oil or extra virgin olive oil? I think that the best choice is the seed oils. You can, re you can use rice oil, uh, peanuts oil, soybean oils. All the oil that have test mild test not so strong because if you use strong oil instead of testing the artichokes you will taste the oil plus what kind of spices you should put 
Some people put chili, some people put garlic, some people put uh, oregano, maybe rosemary, black peppers, and so on. But for the same reason, you should be careful. Because if you put something very strong, like uh, oregano or too much chili, instead of tasting the taste of the artichoke, you will taste the spices that you put inside. So for me, I decided to put only some black mm, peppers, some black corns, some peppercorns, sorry, and half leaves of bay leaves will be enough. In this way, after we will test the artichoke. How long you can preserve in the jar? From six months to one year. The most important thing is that the artichoke should stay covered with the oil. If not, you spoil them. You need to sterilize the jar. It's always better. Usually I don't do it, but if you do, it's always better. Here you can see the video how to do it from l'uomo di casa. Uh, plus, some people uh, boil the things in vain Mary to preserve them, but for these things it's not necessary because the vinegar and the oil will preserve our artichokes. Uh, usually you should wait at least one month before that you can taste it because uh, the taste will be more stronger, but because I want to post the video, Tomorrow I will test it. So see you tomorrow. Spectacular. You can taste a little bit the taste of the vinegar, just a little, and after the taste of the artichoke. Very, very, very spectacular. So if you try to make it, please let us know in the comment. Also, if you have some advice or some other requests. Bye bye. Ah, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and leave a like. Bye.